This tutorial is about Python strings. Define a variable named course name. Whenever we use variable names that has more than one words, we use an underscore like this. Then store learn Python programming. This is a string. Let's print it. We can see the string on the terminal window. Now earlier I told you we could use both single code or double code to define a string. But there are times you have to use a specific form. Otherwise, you are going to run into issues. Here's an example. Suppose you want to print Faruqi's Python course. So we want to add an apostrophe like this. You can understand something is wrong here because our string starts from here and ends here. All these characters that we have after the second apostrophe, Python interpreter doesn't know what they are. So to solve this problem, we need to use double code at the beginning and at the end. Now you can see the error is gone. So if we print course name, we will see Faruqi's Python course. Now let's bring back the previous string, learn Python programming. So this time we want to double code around Python. Once again, if we add a double code here, Python interpreter gets confused because it assumes that the second double code indicates that the string ends here. So it doesn't know what these characters are. To solve this, we need to change our starting and ending double code to single code. Let's run this program. So we got learn Python programming with the double quotation here. So these are the cases for using single and double quotations. We have been using short strings for all these examples. What if it is necessary to store a string with multiple lines? To have multiple lines, we have to use three codes. Now you can use three double codes or three single codes. The output will remain the same. Let's type in some multi-line string. I am Nuzaman Faruqi. This is my Python course. And this is the best Python course available online. Run it we can see we have multi-line string on the terminal window. Let's bring it back to learn Python programming. Now here we are going to use a square brackets to get a character using index of this string. Let me show you how. So to get the first character, we use zero in the square bracket. So the index of the first character is zero. In other words, this is how Python strings are indexed. Zero, one, two, three, four, etc. So the index of the first character is zero. The second character is one. 
and so on. Let's run this program. And we can see L on the terminal window. That is the first character. If we change it to 1 and run the program, we will get E. That is the second character. If we type minus 1, then we will get G, which is the last character. If we type minus 2, we will get N, which is the character before the last character. We can extract multiple characters from the string. The syntax to do it is quite similar. For example, type 0 colon 3. Python interpreter will return all the character from 0 to third index excluding the character at the third index. Let's run this program. We have L E A on the terminal window. So L is 0, E is 1, A is 2, and the character at the third index has been excluded. Suppose we want to extract character starting from want to end. Then we have to type 1 colon. If we do it, the Python interpreter will automatically consider it as the last index. Run it and we can see we have got all the characters starting from 1 to end. If we don't supply anything here and put some number for example 7 here, the Python interpreter will automatically assign the starting index that means 0 at the beginning. Run this code. We can see we've got 0 to index 6 and the seventh character is excluded. And if we do not supply anything at all, then the Python interpreter will start from 0 and will end at the last index by default. That means it will give us all of the characters of the string. Let's run it and we can see we have got all of the characters we have on the string. Let's see if you can assign the index value that will exclude L and exclude G and rest of the characters will be shown. It's pretty simple. We'll start with index 1 and we will end at minus index 1. That means this L and G will be excluded, rest of the characters will be included. Let's run it. We can see the L is gone and the G is gone from the string. So enough talking about the string, let's see what we have in the next lesson.